Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. I'd like to share a nice little moment that happened in the Seymour household last night. It was very lovely on the one hand, but it was tinged with sadness on the other. Let me explain. It was the briefest of interactions. I was about to hurtle up the stairs in my cottage two steps at a time, but realised just before careering into my nine-year-old son William that he was descending at pace at the same time. We narrowly avoided collision. The stairs are quite narrow in our house, so I stopped myself and I turned back and waited for him to come down. He stopped at the bottom of the stairs, looked at me and decided to give me a spontaneous hug. It was unexpected but not out of character. This is the sort of open and easy affection that comes so naturally to young children. As well as being really touched by this spontaneous gesture, a slightly darker thought brushed the edges of my mind that William is in the autumn of his childhood and that these moments may soon be gone. I was reminded of a poem which I will read at the end of this assembly. So why am I sharing this rather personal story with you now? You are well past William's stage of your journey and your parents, with your parents, you're spreading your wings and you're becoming more and more independent. Some of you will leave home soon and some of you will be desperate for that independence particularly at the moment when your households are in lockdown and you're unable to go anywhere and you're perhaps spending an unnaturally long time with your parents. Perhaps it's been difficult, perhaps there have been arguments. Well, I'm sharing this story because for a moment I want you to step into your parents' shoes and look through their eyes. And I want you to remember in these difficult times that there will be a part of your parents that will always look at you as though you're that little boy or that little girl that passes them on the stairs and gives them a spontaneous hug. That moment for them will be trapped in time. So when tensions rise in your household, as they have from time to time in ours, and you feel those strong urges to be elsewhere, cut your parents a bit of slack and perhaps even roll back the years and show a bit of affection. In the New Testament, Jesus tells us that we need to be like children in order to be part of God's heavenly kingdom. Children are so open and show affection so easily. Perhaps that was part of what Jesus was talking about in the gospel. I'm going to finish by reading that poem which is entitled The Meeting and describes a meeting of a six-year-old boy with his mother on the stairs. As I went up and he went down, my little six-year-old boy, upon the stairs we met and hugged, I and my tender joy. O oh, fond and true, we kissed and clasped and parted, and I went up and he went down, refreshed and happy-hearted. What need was there for words, his face against my face, and in the silence heart to heart spoke for a little space of tender things and thoughts on wings and secrets none discovered and I went up and he went down a happy pair we parted his clinging arms about my neck what need was there for words O oh, little heart that beat so fast like any fluttering birds I love his silence said I love my silence answered duly and I went up and he went down comforted wonderfully.